Hello, hello. It's me, Connie. I am here to uh, make a, a six by nine. Um, this is in my Etsy store. I have the big one where you make the bigger book, but this is the small one. And I just want to show you how to cut out the page to make a, a smaller book, okay? So what I'm going to do first is cut, um, and I always print coffee stain on the other side so that whatever you cut off, I, I made this really full up here so that you could use whatever you cut off, okay? So what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna cut off the edges first. I'm gonna go ahead and do the both of those at the same time, just cutting off the edges. I'm gonna cut those off. Yep, yep. I'm going to cut those off. And um, then we'll cut the um, pages to the size that we need. But I always cut the edges off first, okay? because that's not included in this, you know, you don't want to use that as part of your measurement. Okay, so here we go. All right, so here's the um, cover. And this is the inside, all right? Okay. Okay, so first, the side that has the music, you're gonna cut this off to the side of the music. Cut that off right to the side of the music. Okay, so we got that. You can save this and do something with that. Just saying. All right, so we're going to go to this way. We're going to line this up to nine inches on this side. And that's how much you're going to cut off over here. There we go. So we cut off that. And then we want to make it six inches tall. This is going to be about, my six inches is like an eighth of an inch or so to um, this white, you know, where the color starts again. So I'm going to do it to about right there. Right there. And cut that off. There's my cover. This is um, something you can use to put inside your journal because it's perfect for that. All right, so this one, let's see. I'm gonna do the six inches first. Six inches tall first. So I have that. Do something with that. And then, let's see where nine is. Nope, I don't want to do that. So I'm going to cut off to the edge of the uh, book over here. And I'm going to see where that takes me. And then, let's see where nine is. Oh, that'll work. Nine inches over here. Take it to the edge of the paper. See the paper down here? You're gonna take it off to the edge of that. And so we have nine inches. And hopefully, hopefully that will um, match up perfectly. There we go. Okay, so um, now let's ink it up. Let's ink it up. That's just, you know, I like to ink, ink, ink everything. And um, it works, uh, makes it real pretty. I don't really ink up the pages though. I just like the cover to be inked up. And then the embellishments that I do and stuff like that, I ink those up. I will ink this up because if it doesn't match up just perfectly, at least the insides are inked up and it doesn't show as bad. So there's why I do that. Okay. And then we'll, um, I'll, 
go to the next step. So let's just do that. So anyway, I'm fixing to go. Um, as soon as I make this video for y'all, I'm going to go um, mow. I'm going to go mow, push mow around my backyard a little bit. We have three acres, but around the back porch, we like to push mow. So it makes it nice. so pretty. All right, so there we go. I'm going to ink that up. And go from there and we will um I'm just going to give you the basics. I I don't think I'm going to sew it in for you or anything because I think um y'all pretty much know how to do that, but I'm just showing you how to cut that page so that it, um, you know what I mean, so it would look right when you fold it. So it will look right when you fold it. All right, so I'm going to get my scoreboard out Ugh. and I'm going to score both of them at the same time. Okay, it's at nine inches. So, it's at nine inches, so we want to score it at four and a half. There. All right. Looks pretty good. Okay, so um, now, before I do that, off camera, this is optional, but I cut... A piece of I'm gonna shorten it a little bit tie back simply because um, let me cut this with I don't ever do it straight um, because um, I want to strengthen the center um, I want to strengthen where the folds gonna be and where I, um, you do not have you know a lot of times I overkill I'm just saying I overkill on everything. So, um, you know, because usually someone purchases this journal, these journals, and I don't want them to come apart. I, um, I just am kind of leery of the paper tearing and giving after you sew in your signature. So I don't want the um, cover to um, giveaway at all. So, so it's overkill on my part, but anyway, it'll be okay. So I'm just going to, I have my center line right here where I scored it, and I'm just going to center this the best that I can. There we go. All right. Very good. All right, all right, all right, all right. And then we're gonna put these two pieces together and then I'm gonna let them dry a little bit while we are cutting out the other pieces. Whoa, okay. I'm just gonna glue it, but I'm not going all the way to the edge with the glue because I am going to sew around the edge and I don't want to um, gunk up my needle. You know what I mean? I'm gonna sew around the edge. So, this, I need to clean this, the nozzle on this thing. I can't get the uh, glue out of my Sugar Bell bottle, and I don't know, I put the lid on it. I ordered some different lids for it, so hopefully, because y'all use y'all's Sugar Bell and the, um, the, the, uh, it comes out so easy. This, I have to squeeze so hard and I can hardly get it out. So, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but apparently I'm doing something wrong. Okay, well, you have a little minute to mess around with this to make sure it is straight. I love that it's so cold. 
it's so cold. I love that. And I just burnish the craziness out of it. It is pretty doggone straight. Love that. Good deal. I mean, like cray cray. And before I fold it, I will um I will also um um sew around the edge and I'm gonna let it dry a little bit while I'm cutting out the other stuff. So that is really pretty. Okay. There we go. So I'm gonna let that sit for a little while and then I'll sew around the edges, but first we'll cut these out. We will cut these out. Bring this over here. All right. Let's see what I got under here. That's just coffee stain on both sides. So I can do that one. And then this one just has something on the one side. So um, we can do that one. We're going to do that. I'm going to go around and cut the white edges off around the in ends. All around the edges. We're going to cut the um, white trim off. Um, there we go. That way I can get a true measurement. And actually, you know, you're going to go a little below six on the pages because you don't want them the same as the top edge. I mean, you can if you want to, but, you know. All right. So, I'm going to do this first. So, I know that that right there is six inches. I'm going to go just a tad bit under six. Um, just a little bit less. Okay, save this because there's great embellishments that you can do with these. And I love that. So, save that. All right. So... Same thing, I'm going to come over here and cut off to see where this flower, this very faint flower is. I'm going to cut that little flower off. We're going to cut that off. Save these pieces because I'm telling you, there's a lot you can do with that. And then I'm going to turn it around. Nine inches is the size of the book, right? So I'm going to go to eight and three quarters. And there you go. You have your pages. And when you fold it, you're looking really good. It's looking really good. So let me fold this in half for you. There we go. There we go. See, there it is. Very, very pretty. Okay. So let's go ahead and cut the rest of these. I can go ahead and cut the white edges off and then um, do the ed the, um, the trimming. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna just cut the edges off. Just like that. Same all the way around. I know it's just an extra little step, but I want my measurements done properly. So in order to do that, I have to get these edges off. Because I don't want any measurements done with the white edges. Because then I'm going to be off. So we'll um, cut those edges off. Alright, so here we go. I'm going to go ahead and cut just a little bit off. See where the page uh, starts on this page? I'm going to go into the page about an eighth of an inch. I mean, you can just figure this. I mean, it's really easy. 
we're going to go a little below the nine, I mean the six inch mark, right? And then we're going to go to eight and three quarters. Eight and three quarters. And you have your pages. All right. So this one and that one's pretty close to the same. Let me at least get the height. Is it, you know, about five and three quarters, five and something. And then let's see what's on this side. Okay, let's turn it around. And I'm just going to cut it right there, eight and three quarters. And you have your pages. Ta -da. Now let's um, fold them in half. Let's get our pages. We got one. Let's fold these in half. You know, when I was making these pages, it was, you know, you I wanted to take full advantage of the whole page so that you would have these cutouts left over, you know? So you would have all of this left over because there's so many things you can do with them. This is just plain coffee with the lace on it. I just want it to have that extra. There we go. Fold them. It's just so easy just to fold it. You know, it's kind of, you know, um, when you're making a specific size, it can be a little bit daunting to um, cutting it out, but it, um, it'll be all right. It will be all right. Okay, so let me just show you something real quick. So what I like to do with like this long piece, it's just on regular paper. I will fold it. It doesn't matter, just however big you want it. Fold it. Fold it. And then fold that. And sometimes I even do this number where I just fold that, let's see. Fold that like this, you see? And then when you fold it over, it looks like an envelope. And then I glue this down on the page, and then you have this little fun little writing spot in your little book. That's how I use all these little extra pages. It's really, really cool. Okay, there's Jack. That's that idea. Okay, so I want to sew around that, but first, I have some coffee stain papers that I want to put in there too. So, um, let me cut those. So, I want to cut the edge off right there. Okay, and this is going to be under six inches tall, right? And don't get rid of this because you can put that in a pocket. You can put it in a pocket. Let's see, under six. Under six. Save it. And there we go. I cut the other side off because it wasn't really pretty. It wasn't pretty. Okay, so this we're gonna cut at um, about like that. And then these can be pages too. I mean, you know, really seriously they can because you know, they're not even eight and a half, but I mean, they are eight and a half, but you can have these pages. Let's see. Did I cut that right? Yup. Okay, so we have pages right there. 
think I just cut, cut it straight right in half and it been okay. That would have been even better. I'm just saying. Okay, so let's fold these. I love this. Um, wait, I'm going to show you something else in just a second. First, let me, um, let me sew around this real quick and then we'll fold it in half, but you have to just give me a little minute and I will sew just real quick around the edges real fast. Sorry, y'all, but I'm not going to edit that out. Okay. So, you can see what happened when I went to sew. It um, moved my book a little, but um, I'm not freaked out about it, but I am going to trim it. I am not freaking out over that, but I will trim that much because it moved quite a bit, but I will trim that. There we go. And then this side. Surely it won't affect the book too much. <laughs> It'll be okay. All right, so there is the, um, where'd the score line go? Where did the score line go? may not be that perfect, but it's good enough because I like it. We're going to just match up what we can. There we go. There, how pretty is that? How pretty is that? We have a cover, right? Let's ink up this right here. There we go. And now we have our cover. Okay, so these I'm gonna fold in half. They're not gonna be very wide pages, but that's fun, right? Let's see, that is almost at the height. I need to cut the length off just a little bit. Cause I don't like the pages to be right at the same as the book. It doesn't matter, it's preference. Um, okay, so now we just wanna determine which page is gonna be first. And I'm gonna make this one my first page. Then I'm gonna add, let me see, do I need to cut these lengths down? It's right almost on it. Let me cut these down. Top and cut the top, cut the top, cut the top, cut the top. Okay, I'm gonna put these in my print trimmer and trim just a very short little piece off. Nothing major, y'all. There we go. See, just a little tiny bit. Okay, so let's see. That's good. This, of course, of course it's gonna be where I need to trim it. Okay. Now this is eight and a half, so just fold those in half. And it should be just right. Fold all of this in half. 
I don't know that I'm going to put all of these in there, but they will be prepared if I do. Just fold in half. Okay. All right, first page. All right, and I'm going to put one of these in there. Love it, love it. And then possibly go ahead and put a coffee stain in there. Cute, cute. Then I'm going to put this. There we go. And then one of these. And how about that? And one of these little short ones. This. And that. 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 And then this is just plain, plain paper. There's nothing on it. It's just that one paper page that's in there and then you put it in your book and there you have it there you have it you just sew it in and you have your book and then you do all your little embellishments do you want me to sew it in for you real quick while we're here I can let me get my stuff And a little gilly whopper. I'm just going to use this color. Um, sometimes I do extra on this because um, I like to um, put some beads maybe on the bottom of it. It's really cute. So let me get a needle out. And... Um, there is that. I hope I cut enough to be able to do that. All right. Let me, um, I'm not one to just, um, you know, just make sure everything's going the right direction because I've done that too. I've done that too where every, I've put something in upside down. And you know what you do with that? You, um, there. Passed up the middle. There. There we go. And then I'm going to put it right in the middle, right where I want it. And it doesn't always come out perfect for me because I get in a hurry and... Uh, my favorite tool to use for this is my uh, Stampin' Up! Pokey tool. I just love that tool. I'm just saying. Now I've got it right where I want it in the book. I'm guesstimating the center. And then, you know, just guesstimating on matching it. Ugh. There we go. Before I move it, I'm going in the middle and through the bottom, all the way across, and then through the middle again. And I'm going to pull this so that I don't um, pierce it because it will... Um, you don't want it to do that. So, there we go. Now, if you are wanting to make it even, you just pull a little bit and pull. That's close enough. And then just kind of pull it, not too snug, but tight enough. Make sure everything is where it's supposed to be. Tight enough and then tie it and tie it again and there you go 
And then I leave that dangling and then I put some little beads on there as well. So there you go. There it is right there in the middle. And sometimes I go over it like this and we have our book. We have our book. There we go. What do you think? And then you get to put all the fun stuff in it. All the fun stuff in it. It's so awesome. So awesome. Love it, love it. All right. So you can get this six by nine in my Etsy store. It's linked down below. So just go check it out if you want to make this precious little book. It is in the Etsy store down below. Please give me a thumbs up. Tell me what you think. Also, um, have a great uh, rest of the day. Um, thumbs up. What is it? Thumbs up. Subscribe. Go check out my Facebook page. If you do this, please go to my Facebook page and make a um, uh, take pictures of it. I would love, 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 love to see it. And you know that I've started all the way over on my store, I mean, on my page, because I lost everything. So, um, come on in. You're welcome to please come. I have some freebies in there. I have um, uh, stuff that I'm uploading for you to get for free. Here's a Psalms 91. This is to go, um, you can even fold this up if you cut it out right, because it's on a regular 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. And I just cut off the top and bottom, and you can fold it and stick it in your journals. So, so awesome, right? So, there it is. I hope you uh, enjoyed this process. I hope I didn't make it too difficult. Um, I tried to um, do it in such a way where it measured just right. But, you know, sometimes, you know, it's not that... <laughs> Me and measurements don't get along too good. But anyway, this is really super cute. Tell me what you think, and we'll talk real soon. Bye, everyone.